Some of you will remember a time when Concord crossed the Atlantic from London to New York in just a little over three hours. When giant hovercraft could zip you across the English Channel to France. And when space shuttles made routine deliveries to space. It was a time before tilting trains and the Channel Tunnel, but it really was the Space Age. British Rail, as it was at the time, certainly embraced the Space Age when they proposed to build and transport us using flying saucers. This may seem like a plan from a science fiction film, but they were serious. The flying saucer originally started as a proposal for a lifting platform. However, the project was revised and edited, and by the time the patent was filed, had become a large passenger craft for interplanetary travel. The craft was to be powered by nuclear fusion, using laser beams to produce pulses of nuclear energy in a generator at the center of the craft. The pulses of energy would then have been transferred out of a nozzle running along the underside of the craft. I very much simplified the description as the full technical detail in the patent is rather far-fetched. The plans were put to a group of nuclear scientists. However, they declared them to be totally unworkable, expensive and very inefficient. Adding to the problems, many of the technologies used in the craft, such as nuclear fusion and high temperature superconductors, had not yet been discovered. A layer of thick metal running above the fusion reactor would have acted as a shield that would either have protected or fried the passengers from the radiation emitted from the core of the reactor. Nevertheless, the application was made on behalf of British Railways and the patent granted in March 1973. The British Rail flying saucer invention of Charles Osmond Frederick of British Railway Technical Centre in Derby never materialised. The good news is the patent has now lapsed. So, if you want to use his ideas to build your own flying saucer, to fly us around in simulated gravity, in zero gravity conditions, using nuclear fusion, then you are free to have a go. We look forward to the day. In more predictable circumstances, the British press got hold of the patent in 2006 and once again, in true British press fashion, ridiculed the British Rail Flying Saucer just as they did with the advanced passenger train, the APT, back in the 1980s. However, unlike the APT, I don't think the bad press the Flying Saucer received was its downfall. I do hope and dream we will once again visit the space age that a lot of us grew up in, where hovercrafts and flying supersonic in luxury on the edge of space was just the norm. Unfortunately, today, luxury and speed have given way to delays and overcrowding. We hope you've enjoyed this video. Please leave your comments about it below. And as always, please like, share, and subscribe.